<laughs> Jiminy Hoffa! Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host and private of the Prestissimo, Ken Levine. I'm a singer and vocal coach here on YouTube, and today we are looking at the band called Greta Van Fleet. But before we do that, I would like to remind you all to please remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And if you're new, write I subscribed in the comments below, and I'll do my very best to com comment, respond to as many people as humanly possible. All right, Greta Van Fleet. This is a song, this is an older song, I think from a while back, called Highway Tune. And I think this is live from one of their shows in Toronto. Here we go. Highway tune. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> nice rocky guitars. Kinda got that 70s rock vibe going. Swamp rock. <laughs> nice! Nicely held. That's a really gritty shout. Is that his actual voice? Or is that like a put on voice? It sounds very high, very high. It's got a high larynx position there. It's, it's like, um, what is it? The pharyngeal voice um, where just you, how you manage that sound, how you make that sound is, is uh, you sort of go Jerry Lewis on it. Ah, ah. And you raise your larynx, tilt it forward, and you can't see any of this. This is sort of, the sound sort of dictates how this happens. And you get that sort of high larynx uh, spread sound. Um, not particularly attractive, but it cuts through. It's got an incredible bite to it. And when you have all of those instruments doing what they're doing, it, you, you want a little bit of an extra edge on your voice, whatever you can muster, so that you can... I guess, make the lyrics happen so people can actually understand them. I think that's what's going on here. He's added a bit of grit to the vocal cords. <laughs> a little Chuck Berry action on the guitar. I can't understand any of the lyrics. Oh! <laughs> Jiminy Hoffa! He has just reanimated the voice of Robert Plant. That's what that is. This is like a Led Zeppelin tribute band kind of thing going on here. Uh, though it's, uh, I've never heard this Led Zeppelin song before. I don't think it is. I think it's an uh, original song by them, but uh, by Greta Van Fleet, the name of the band. Um, yeah, yeah, kind of cool. Uh, yeah, I... I <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure they get those comparisons a lot because it's very obvious that's this the groove that they're going for that sort of um gritty uh you know uh very macho 70s rock sound Time for the extended Jimmy Page solo here. Hey! 
I hear a little bit of the Who influence there. I, I'm digging this. This is great. Never heard this band before. He's just standing there. Mama. He's super young. What is he like, 16 or something? <laughs> wow. Okay, Greta Van Fleet, uh, lead singer. I don't know his name. Um, very, very Robert Plant. Um, the whole band sort of is channeling that vibe, which is kind of cool. I kind of dig it. Um, it's, uh, if you're wondering how to do that and do that safely, uh, that sound, that Robert Plant sound, because I don't even know that Robert Plant could do it safely, uh, in that, uh, I kind, I have the feeling that at some point in, uh, the early seventies, he really blew out his vocal cords, just, rocking as hard as he could every night and you I guess you can you you think you're invincible when you're that age but you're not and um you can develop a lot of vocal nodules and and uh I was I remember talking to one guy who was a fantastic opera singer like just incredible and and he was always getting um guff from other voice teachers, other vocal coaches, other, you know, other professionals just saying, man, you're, you're working too hard, man. You really, you just, you're giving too much and you need to dial it back. You need to preserve your voice. And he's like, you know what? I would rather rock out 100% with everything that I've got, every show with my voice than half-ass it and, and just phone in the performance. I would rather be the rock star and just the guy who gave everything he had and know that you know that to have that satisfaction of of being that in that mindset being in that frame of mind then then not than being very timid and holding back all the time and i think this is important to find the balance between that because there are moments when you just you just have to you just have to and i i was i was impressed when he was holding those notes but i could tell that he was very, very much in control of that. Like he was, he was on his edge. He wasn't going to go past it um, for the sake of, for the sake of the performance. He wasn't running around. He was standing there. He had, it seemed like he had a really good posture and he was like, I'm going to hold this note right on the edge, which is good. Good for him. I hope, I hope he is able to maintain that and maintain that, uh, that sound because it's great. He's got a powerful set of pipes. Now, maybe you are a young singer and you want to find out what power lies behind your pipes. I strongly recommend you reach out to a vocal coach. There's lots of us out here in YouTube land. If you want to work with me, I'll be sure to leave a link in the description down below. You can get a hold of me at my Wizio page. Also, uh, yes, please remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the great stuff we produce here every week on the channel. And... Um, yeah, uh, right. I subscribed to two down below. Uh, I, I try to read as many of the comments as I can and, and also uh, respond to as many of the comments as I possibly can. So now if you have made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.